Hey, how's it going guys? In this PyQtify tutorial, we'll learn how to use the QFileDialog class. So the QFileDialog class is basically the file dialog widget. And it's a handy tool that allows a user to select a file or a folder. And if we go to QFileDialog class documentation on Qt's website, and so uh, it's, I won't say it's a complicated widget to use, but it does have a lot of things that I need to consider when you use the uh, widget. I want to uh, scroll, scroll down towards the middle. And here's an example on how to use it. And all these examples are in uh, C++. And in this video, I'll translate those examples in Python. I want to uh, scroll down to the uh, members. Here, let me do a search. Oh, right here. If we look at the static public members section, and here are all the available uh, dialog options. So we can select existing folder, or select an existing file. And here's an alternative option to select folder. The difference between um, these two options is that the first option, get existing directory URL, will return the QURL object, uh, which represents the folder object. So basically, just think of as this will return as a string, and this will return as an object. Then there is get open file name, get open file names. So this one allows you to select one file, and the other one allows you to select multiple files. And get open file URL. So this is very similar to get existing directory URL uh, option, except that get open file URL returns a file object. Then there is get save file name, get save file URL. Now let's open our code editor, and here's the application we're going to create. So from this widget, we're going to create a combo box, and this combo box we're going to have uh, four different options. Get file name, get file names, get for the directory, and save file name. So each will perform its own uh, operation. If I launch get file name, this file download will allow us to uh, select the file. All right, so I'm going to close this window and I'm going to uh, start everything from scratch. So from this importing statement, I'm uh, using let's see, I'm using Q application, Q widget. Combo box push button, uh, file dialog, and for the code box layout class. And this is my uh, main routine, and here's my app class, which is my application uh, body. And I'm going to assume that you already have uh, some experience writing a simple PyQt application. All right, so I'll start by creating a tuple object. And I'll name this uh, tuple object self the options. In this array, we have uh, four items. So each item represents uh, its own uh, functionality. And here's my uh, combo box. And this statement will add all the uh, items to my combo box. Then we need to add the combo box to uh, my vertical layout instance. And so with the push button. Now if I simply run the application, and this will have so far. So four items in the combo box. And if I click on the push button, nothing's going to happen. All right, so let's create our uh, functions. And because we have uh, four different functionalities that we want to perform, we cannot simply assign one method uh, to the combo box to uh, individually run uh, each operation. So I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method. I'm going to name this method launch dialog. And I'll create an object called uh, option and from self dot options tuple. I want to uh, insert the index method. I want to grab the uh, index position based on the combo box item name. So to grab the current uh, select combo box text, so insert the combo box widget dot current text 
and here I'm going to insert if statement. I'm going to uh, check if option value is equals to zero. Then I want to uh, run the get file name method. I haven't created this method yet. I'm just going to insert those methods in my if statement for now. And this will be option two, actually option one. And I'll make uh, two more copies, two and three. And I'll make a copy of the uh, response statement. So for option uh, zero, it's going to be get file name. And option one will be get file names. And for uh, option two, this will be get for the uh, DIR. And finally, we have get save file name. Otherwise, I'm going to print a message, got nothing. Now let's start with get file name. And since that one seems to be the easiest uh, option. So I'll name this method get file name. I'm going to insert qfile.log class. I'm going to reference the get open file name method. We need to start by providing the parent and we'll choose uh, self. And self uh, will reference to the parent class. In this case, will be my app class. And the next parameter is caption. For the caption, I'm going to say uh, select a data file. Actually, select a file. And the next parameter is uh, directory, which is the default folder path. For the default folder directory, I will assign the working directory path. Then we have filter. So a filter basically allows you to uh, specify what file extensions or file format you want the user to choose or to select. And here I'm going to create a variable. I'll name this variable file filter. And let's say uh, I'll have I'll have the filter name called uh, a data file. It should just data file. So let me change the caption. I'll change the caption to select a data file. And let's say I want to have uh, two different sets of filters. And one is to select CSV and Excel file. And the other filter is to select uh, just the Excel files. So this is going to be filter set number one. I'm going to insert a wildcard to indicating I want to be able to select any file name. Except that I want to uh, specify the extension to Excel SX only. And this will be an Excel file, actually a 2010 or later version Excel file. Then we have CSV file. And to add an additional parameter, we'll use a space. I know in other languages such as uh, FB.net, VBA, C Sharp, I think, it uses a uh, semicolon. But in Python, it uses space. And then we have a DAT file. And it's going to be set number one. Now I want to add another uh, filter set. So I'm going to insert two colons, actually two semicolons. And I'll name this set. Excel file. And I'll make this. I'll make the F capital. And for the Excel file extension, it's going to be the Excel SX and Excel S. So this will be Excel two thousand seven or earlier version. And it's going to be our file filter. I'm going to assign file filter to the filter parameter. If you want, you can also set the initial filter. And the parameter name is called initial filter. I'm going to select um, this code block, not code block, uh, 
So I'm going to select this uh, filter set. I'm going to copy and paste. And it's going to be a string. So this is indicating that when I launch my file dialog, I want the Excel file filter to be the default. And I want to save the output as a response. Now let's print the response object. I'm going to grab a launch dialog method. I will send that to the push button. So btn.click.connect. Now let me run. Now if I choose get file name and launch. So let's examine the file dialog. So here's our uh, dialog window title. And here's our uh, default filter. In this case, it will be Excel file. Now, if I click on the drop down, the first option is the data file, and the second option is the Excel file. And my default directory is my uh, working directory. Now, if I select a file and click on open, and that will return a tuple, the first element uh, returns the uh, file path. And the second element returns the uh, filter type. So if you want to grab just the uh, file file path, then we'll assign just the first element. And that's the uh, get open file name option. Now, once you know how to use um, one option or file dialog option, then you know how to use everything else. So I'm going to copy this method. I'm going to uh, copy and paste. And I'll name this method get file names. And very similar to get open file name, except that we need to change the name to names. And in terms of the output, so if I print the response object, I'm going to select multiple files. Oh, I forgot to hear me do this. I'll print the response option. I'll select these two files, open. And again, we have our uh, filter type. And the list is going to return the file path of every single file that I select. So again, uh, if you want to return multiple files, we'll still insert the uh, element index. Oh, and one more thing. So let's say uh, if I open a file dialog, and if I didn't select anything, here I forgot to insert the print statement. If I cancel the operation, it's going to return as an empty string. So that's how you determine whether or not if a user select a file. Now let's continue to finish the other two. So this one is going to be get a folder path. So I'm name this method get directory path. It should just get directory. The only difference between get directory uh, option first get open file name is that it doesn't require many uh, options or parameters. So let me here, let me do this. I'll insert a Q file dialog widget that gets existing directory. except that we only need to provide the caption. Select a folder. And if we want, we can provide a default uh, directory path. And for now, I'm going to uh, only providing the caption. 
and I don't think you need to provide anything if you don't want to. You know what I mean? Let's see, I can't remember. Now let's try it. So if I select Git folder directory and launch, aim here. I'm getting here. Oh, let me try again. All right. So if we don't provide the um, default for the path, and it's going to still uh, set the working directory as the default folder. And if I choose a folder, so I'm going to choose this ABC folder and click on select folder. And that will turn the folder path only. Unlike get open file name or get open file names, the get existing directory method will only turn a string that represents the folder path. And the last one is get save file name. Right, so this one is just a, a slight variation of get open file name. So I'll copy this. We're still going to have a file filter. Except that if we go back to the documentation, so we have caption and directory, which is the uh, default path, I think. I can remember this one. So filter, here, let me grab this one. Let me go back. Let me uh, guess say file name. So let me take let me take a look at this one. So we have caption and default directory filter select filter options. Okay, so I uh, I figure out. So the directory uh, parameter is the file that you want to save. So basically, uh, this dialog option is going to return whatever you put in the um, input field. So let's say I want to set a default uh, file name to data file dot uh, dat. And I'll change the method to get safe file name. Now let me launch my application. And we're going to choose save file name and launch. And by default, uh, the file name is going to be assigned to data file dat. Now, if I try to save the file as dat format, even though my uh, file type is set to Excel file only, if I click on save, and I'll still save the file. All right, so this is everything I want to cover in this tutorial, and hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.